one thing Brian and I always said, we did not want to be the slanket. Mm. So mm. most people have not heard of the slanket. The slanket is the original, what's the name, bro? Blanket with sleeves. Yeah, okay. the blanket with sleeve. The Snuggie. We've all heard of the Snuggie, right? Right. I've heard of the Snuggie. The Snuggie came after the Slanket. Some guys invented the Slanket over in the UK. And the Huggy guys picked it up over here. And, well, they, they launched the Huggy and it became an absolute Snuggie. phenomenon back in the, the Snuggie back in the late 2000s, I guess it was, to 2010, around there. And it became an enormous product. And they sold tens of millions of those things. I think last check, it was like 600 million in total sales, you know, over the last 10 years or something like that. Wow. And we just kept telling ourselves, we don't want to be the slanket. That was so motivating to us. You know, we didn't want to be second. Like, this is our idea. This is our invention. And we wanted to keep pushing forward. And I tell you what, three months, four months after Shark Tank, I think it was, the knockoffs started coming. We were seeing 800 commercial, you know, the 800 infomercials on TV with our product, basically. So we immediately had to start fighting that back. And it's motivated us. It still motivates us to this day with all the knockoffs that are out there. There are thousands of them out there. The one thing in mind, uh, we went for a patent very early on. Okay. Uh, it took two years before we got our first patent on our product. We now have five patents and uh, a lot of patent pendings as well. So uh, we put the money in up front, which was very hard to do when you're starting up like that. You know, to put those tens of thousands of dollars in, you don't have that much. You don't have that much revenue coming in, but we did it because we believed in it that much. And it is paying off big time now by having those patents and being able to uh, protect our IP. What a game changer. That's crazy. Smart. I mean, smart for you guys to be aware of that. That makes a lot of sense. It seems smart now, right, Michael? It seems smart now that we did all that. But the, initially, we decided to go for the patents before we went on Shark Tank. Just for when the sharks asked us if we had any IP <laughs> or anything, we said, yes, we're patent pending. That's the only reason that we did it in the very beginning. And then, of course, when we got on the show, nobody even asked us about it. So it's a good thing that we uh, ultimately followed through with it and have all the patents that we do now because now we are able to to build a wall around our brand and we fight people viciously anybody who wants to come in and tries to steal our ip it's like sure. no you know what my brother and i invented this you exist only because of us so we are going to fight you with everything we have so uh yeah tread carefully knockoffs it's funny we had the therabody the theragun founder on you know the, the muscle percussive therapy gun and, and same thing for him i mean he's they have everything patented from the gun the machine to even the the heads because you can swap out different heads of it and so you know, they're the originator of that, but it's the same battle. It's the same thing. They're always dealing with it. And they have competitors that make things a little bit different and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, they'll get athletes also, you know, sponsor athletes. And so it's just, it's this constant battle that's going on, but it's tough. It's good that you guys are aware of it though. And you guys are, are doing what you can to mitigate. <laughs>